Hey folks, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be learning on how to train and uh, make predictions using a model created inside simple ML for Google Sheets. In the previous videos, we looked at how to um, predict missing values and even spot abnormalities in data. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to use simple ML for Sheets and uh, create models and make predictions and stuff like that. So, um, basically to do this we have it we have to have two data sets there's going to be a training data set and a testing data set so the training data set will teach the model the different features that are there and what the expected value is supposed to look like so we're going to be using simple ml for sheets to predict the house prices so this is the data set that i have here i'll be leaving the data set link in the description you can check that out if you want to work with it while i'm teaching so this is the data that is there so these these are just the different features that are available for the house They're like the lot area the street whether it is paved or not and stuff then the alley the lot shape the land contour and stuff so there are different different features like the house style number of stories in the house the building type it is a fam it's a two -fam. these are just different different features that are there the neighborhood is it a college or there is other different different old town and different different features that are there and in the end in the training data set we have the expected output that's the sale price so this is the sale price that is there so using the same using the model that we create we need to predict the prices if i go to my test data set this is the testing data set that i have here to test whether the model is working well or not so this has some some data similar to what it has here but if i scroll to the end it doesn't have the final sale price so we, we are going to be predicting that price using the machine learning model that we'll create right now so um, i'm going to just go ahead and create the machine learning model i'm going to go to my extensions i'm going to click on simple ml for sheets if you want to learn how i installed this model i mean i installed the add-on into my google sheets you can check out the link in the description you can check that out and um, i'll just go click on simple ml for sheets i'll click on start and in a few seconds, the add-on will load up here on the side. So what do you want to do? I want to train a model. So I have to name the model, right? So I need to do, I need to do house price prediction model. Next, we have to specify the label. So the label for this case is going to be the sales price because I want the model to understand how the sales price is being decided. And then when I apply this model to make a prediction in my test data set it should give me a price for that so the label is going to be sale price if i scroll down here these are the source columns so these are the features that the model will take into account while learning and while understanding how the price of a house is decided among the data that is this is around 1400 rows of data so it will understand it and i think we are done and these are just the advanced options if you want some specific learning algorithms you can see those and specify those but for now we'll be just going with the gradient boosted trees algorithm i'll just go ahead and click on train and in a few seconds the model will understand and it will collect all the examples and it will train itself okay so here you can see the model has trained with 14 and 1460 examples and 80 features in the browser and it has saved the model and the task is completed so i can i can just click on close and now i'll go to my test model test data set that i have here and here i'm going to go and click on extensions i'm going to go for simple ml for sheets and i'm going to click on start a few seconds the add-on will load up here and i'm going to be going and clicking on make predictions with model this time and this time i will select the house prediction model that i just created and the results the amount of details is value plus confidence it will just give you the final price and i'll just go and click on predict it will download the model and in a few seconds it will give you the predicted prices for the house here you can see on successful execution you can see the predicted sales price for all the houses has successfully been generated through the model that we just generated so if i just scroll down it is going to give me prices for all the 1460 examples that we have here so i think our model works pretty well and um, so this model has perfectly predicted the prices for the houses that we had with different features and different details and stuff. 
Now that we are done predicting the prices for the houses using the machine learning model that we just created, let's just go back to our training data set and let's just evaluate the model. So it's always good to understand what is inside of the model and how it works. So we'll just go ahead, click on what do you want to do and just say click on evaluate the model, select the model and click on evaluate. So here you can see on successful execution, it gives you the model evaluation here. You can see the number of predictions that are there. It has made 14, 16 number of predictions. It has made it says task was regression and the label was sales price. And you can see the default RSME is 7, 7941.5.3. So you might be just thinking, what is this RSME value that is given here? So RSME value is basically, it is one of the two main performance indicators for a model. It measures the average difference between the values predicted by the model and the actual values that we give. So there's a difference between the training values and the final test value, right? So this gives you a, um, a difference between the values that are predicted by the model. If I scroll down, you'll just have different, different, different graphs that are available here to just show you what they are. And um, if I go back and if I click on understand a model, right? So we will again, we'll just select this. I'll click on include the sheet data and I'll click on understand. Right, so after a few seconds, the model understanding window appears here. And um, in the summary tab, you can just see all the informations that the model has received, like the creation date and stuff, the label that we have used and the different input features that we had given, like the ID, the frontage, the zone, the area, street, alley and stuff. If I go to the quality tab, you can see the, the metrics about the model, like the evaluation metrics of the model. And um, you can just see the number of predictions that were made. If I go to the data set, you can see the different details about the input features of the model. And um, if I go to the variable importance, so this shows you how each feature inside the data set uh, impacts the model, right? For example, here, if you see the overall quality has the most influence on the um, indicates that uh, how much the quality of the model would drop if this was removed, right? So if this is removed, then it's going to be predict, it's going to be, uh, it's going to affect the uh, value that is being predicted. If I go to the predictions here, you can see how the prediction of the model is impacted by different features and value, like the ID makes slight difference and the different, different features that are there, right? See, like the overall condition is there here, we have the Yes, so this is the overall quality. So this makes a lot of effect compared to the other um, values that are there. And if I go in the end, the plot model. So this, the plot model here, it cannot be done. It is only there if the uh, decision tree is, like the decision tree algorithm is used in the advanced options. So I think, yeah, so this is the model understanding part. And let's just say you want to export the model, right? And uh, let's just say you want to export this model to your Google Colab. So I'll just click on the model that I want. You can, you can either click on Google Colab and you can just go ahead and click on export. In a few seconds, it will build the Colab example. And here you can see, this is the model that is there here. And um, this is the drive, this is the uh, source that is there here. So this is all for this video. I hope you have understood how to predict um, house prices using the simple ML simple ml google sheet add-on i'll be leaving all the resources in the description you can check that out if you like this video then don't forget to like share and for more content the subscribe button i'll see you in the next one